Hi guys, so welcome to the board of studies MCQs. We have done lot amount of MCQs, everything from the module we did. Then from board of studies, we have done chapter number one, chapter number two, chapter number three. We are on to chapter number four. Our basic intention is that to give you wholesome coverage of your entire syllabus through concepts but rooted through the MCQs. That is whatever we all are trying to be doing. And uh, one other thing, in case you wish to be joining our complete course, uh, then you all can see the description below, join. You can watch the lectures on laptop, on app, wherever you all want, one day on laptop, one day on app, wherever you all wish. Okay, there is absolutely no restriction. And you all have any doubts regarding SCPM, then feel free to uh, contact us on our telegram ID at the rate age next. With that, let's try to be doing the question for today. Now we are doing chapter number four. Okay, chapter number four is all about specialist cost management techniques. Now in that one of the topics is life cycle costing and there could be lot amount of questions on life cycle costing. This is one among them. Let's do it. IEE is selling an electronic product that is aiming at customer base who are early adopters. Okay, their market share in the current year has been growing rapidly and consequently profits are also increasing. Market competition is increasing with growing number of competition, uh, growing number of uh, competitors for IEE. Which strategy should IEE not adopt at this stage? Okay, bring me the four options, please. So let's not adopt one of these strategies. What are these four ones? Strategy shifts from acquisition to the retention of the customers. Okay. Second, development of long-term relationships with the customers. Okay. Third, leverage the product perceived differential advantage to secure a strong market position. Okay. Fourth one, build selective distribution channels to target niche customers only. Okay. Now see, I'll come back to the question first of all. In this question, few things I would like to be thinking that which stage the company is currently there are four stages now product life cycle introduction stage whereby the company has just launched the product growth stage whereby the demand has started to come but with demand success comes profits come so competition also comes maturity is always the like you know the peak stage whereby the markets have started to mature that means like you know there are a lot amount of players snatching for profits at that time actually profits don't increase you try to retain the profits whatever you all have and then lastly that is your declining stage in declining stage very few customers remain with us okay because most of the people have started to now shift to better products which are available in the market okay now if i come back to the question the question was their market share in the current year has been growing rapidly and consequently profits are also increasing i think so this hints at us that we are in the growth stage okay i think so we are in the growth stage of this company market competition obviously will increase okay so therefore we are in the growth stage that you all do remember in growth stage which strategy we should not be adopting first strategy shifts from acquisition to the retention of the customer see do remember that whatever you are going to be growing that will happen in growth stage after growth stage what comes is is maturity whereby competition is very huge how do you win in such kind of a competition whichever customers you already have it's not that i don't want to be growing the customers no but customer growing will now happen organically you will have to make extra efforts to retain the customers that you all have okay those guys who were your customers should not be going away that is one thing second development of long-term relationship with the customers almost the extension of point number one only try to have good relationships with the customers so therefore they will be remaining with you even for the next stage to be honest okay actually they should remain with you in the declining stage also if your service is very good but what happens is after some time people start to be thinking like you know now let's try to try out some new products example like one of my friends he was apple user for so long okay for 15 years he was using only apple products he has iPhone 1, 2, 3, no, 15, whatever. Okay. But then lately he purchased S24 Ultra. I asked him the reason why. He says, Both ho gaya yaar. I have been with Apple for so long. I wanted to try to something new. It doesn't mean that Apple has go, gone over to declining stage. No. But then it just gives you a hint. Like, you know, that ultimately people want to try something new. Okay. People would not always like to remain. So therefore, given a choice as a company, you should try to have long-term relationship with the customers. Third one. Leverage the product's perceived differential advantage to secure a strong market position. See, 
your growth stage is there your uh, maturity stage is about to be coming in maturity stage competition will be very intense you will be having an advantage if you are able to prove to the customer that still my product is better for you as compared to all other products so i guess point number 1 2 3 are all correct in reference to growth stage fourth one build selective distribution channel to target niche customers only why should we target only niche customers beta that we would like to be doing in the declining stage when the demand is very less and only few loyal customers are there with us till the time we are in the growth stage we can attract more customers here and we should try to retain as many customers as possible okay so therefore fourth cannot be your strategy in the growth stage okay that should be your strategy in the declining stage okay so therefore as per me fourth is not the correct answer okay मतलब फोर्थ शुड नॉट बी अ स्ट्रेटजी टू बी एडॉप्टेड दिस इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन दैट आई सी एस गिवन आई गो वर टू द आंसर सो फोर्थ वन शुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर इट इज नॉट अ स्ट्रेटजी टू टू बी एडॉप्टेड दैट इज द करेक्ट वन ओके नाउ समाइम्स इट विल हैपन दैट यू आर नॉट श्योर अबाउट योर आंसर लाइक इन दिस केस सो ट्राई टू कैंसल आउट वन 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 एंड ट्राई टू रीच टेल एंड ओके दैट इज अ बेटर वे एटलीस्ट इन केस ऑफ द एमसीक्यूज इन केस यू आर स्टार्ट इन केस यू नो द आंसर देन इट इज ऑल ओके I'll see you all next time with another lecture. Till then, this is the QR code of the playlist of the MCQs which are there from the module. Ensure to check them out. Okay, thank you. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Take care.